Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. Considering this is a, supposed to be a week of love with Valentine's Day, I've chosen uh, a couple of love oracle decks to start your reading. Well, I'd like you to only take what resonates and leave the rest because this is not a private reading. We will see what comes up for Libra. Letting go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Can you do that? Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. And when this card comes up, it's not just for you to love your partner. It's to love your family, your children, everybody around you. Okay? Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Be open to love, okay? God is in control. Not you. Many of you are releasing a toxic situation. There's been some kind of false bond that you may be finally ready to let go of. Removing it from your life. A toxic situation, some sort of lies, deceit. There was a connection that was very strong and deep, but it wasn't true. Because what does the devil bring? Lies. What's the opposite of the devil? God. God is in control. Many of you are freeing yourself. It's time. It's time to free yourself. It's time to step outside of this, this bond. It's time to break the chains. To remove these obstacles that have been holding you back. It's a time of reevaluation after a period of lies. You know, there's there could be, once you do that, it's, then romance could come into your life. I mean, romance could be coming into your life. You could be receiving an offer of love. Maybe this is you just wanting romance. Maybe you're wanting romance with somebody that you can't free yourself from. Your want this is wanting romance, and it's pointed over here. You're you're still being stuck. You're still holding on to something that wasn't meant for you. And it's time for you to stop procrastinating. It's time for you to stop ignoring. It's time for you to accept the truth. You want romance, but you're blocking new romance by hanging on to the past romance that never really was. It was, but it wasn't true. It was a lie. It was manipulative. It was lust. Both of these cards say you can free yourself at any time. You can break the chain. But right now, you're, you are pretending that something is going to change, that this romance is going to come back. And it's really time for you to release. It's time for closure. It's time to move on. Because you can't be in denial. You can't not accept the truth forever, right? I mean, many of you are denying the truth. 
and staying trapped in a situation with somebody that you wanted to have romance with. And now you're being called to focus, refocus. Come up with a new vision for your future. Get creative. Have compassion for yourself. Love yourself unconditionally. Right now, you know, I feel like you have lost concentration. You've lost focus. You've lost organization. You, the, there's a flighty energy here. And it's really time for you to use your mind in this matter. Not just your heart. Okay? It's time to get your life back on track. Bring some organization back to your life. And the only way that you can do that is by accepting the truth, which you are in denial of. You're denying the truth of a situation, staying trapped in this mental conflict, refusing to free yourself when you, you, you clearly can. You can close the door whenever you're ready. But you lack compassion for yourself. It's time for you to love yourself without conditions, without expectations. I understand that you have, or you had, you have or you had the best of intentions for this relationship. You did. You had the best of intentions. But the other person did not. They absolutely did not. This person was very much concerned with themselves, not you. I feel like you've had some, um, you've been dealing with, you were dealing with somebody who was only out to harm you. And you may, you know, you at first it might have been love, but then it turned out to be very conceited. It turned out to be very... Um, manipulative and controlling and I don't know if this is you this could represent you somebody has been controlling bullying manipulative um, criticizing judgmental now I tend to think this isn't you and for all you cross watchers out there that are gonna point your finger at the Libras and say my Libra did this my Libra don't bother cuz I'm gonna delete your comment I feel like you guys are, are losing opportunities in love by hanging on to this past that doesn't serve you. It's not here. It was lust. It was sex. It was never true love. To you it was. You had the best of intentions. But I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was only thinking about themselves and how they could get ahead. We want to know about the future, please. Please, this is the past. See, the thing is, is the past is haunting you. And that's what's going on here. So you can't... This is why this let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is why this has come up. And this is treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. You need to let somebody else into your life and stop trying to get some... It's out of your control. It's in God's hands. What isn't meant to be, it isn't meant to be. You can't make it be. There it is. There you are. It's time for you to do the right thing for yourself, don't you know? Where's your integrity lie? For yourself. Okay. This was karmic. And now it's time to make a, make a final choice. And bring the balance back to your life. Release the heaviness. Release the heaviness. The burdens, the heaviness. Thank you, Lord. I love it when they do this. They do this for me all the time. This is literally release the heaviness, this card. I mean, come on now. That's what it is. So it is really time for you to make a conscious change. And is you know, new love cannot come in until you make this conscious change. Until you let go of this baggage, this burden. You know, you can't avoid it forever. 
You can't. Eventually, it's going to happen. Eventually, you're going to be forced to let it go. Right now, you're avoiding it by trying to control the situation. You avoiding it. When the fact of the matter is, is that you, it's really a time of growth. It's a time for newness. It's time for a new partner, don't you think? But you can't have a new partner until you let go of the past baggage. That's in your hands. The future is in your hands. What do gypsies do when they look into their crystal ball? They have to look deep, deep for the answers. And they have to wait for the answers to come. And then they have to trust the answers that they receive. They have to trust their inner guide. Really trust it. And they need to not make excuses. And they need to not try to control the outcome. You can't control God's plan. It's time for you to make the conscious change. So that new, a new partner can come into your life. If you're looking for a new partner and you're single, it's not going to happen until you make a conscious change to let go of this devil that was in your life. Your future is in your hands. But you're not, you're refusing. You and I said this earlier. You are refusing to consider the new approach. And as long as you can sit, refuse. I refuse to move forward. I refuse. I refuse. So, so keep refusing. You will continue to deceive yourself until you do. You're lying to yourself. And, it, and as, until you stop doing that, there will be no new partner. There's an opportunity for a new partner if you stop refusing. This is refusing. Refusing to see a new approach. Refusing to see a new beginning. Refusing to move on. By refusing to move on, you are deceiving yourself. Change is needed. It's time for you to remove yourself. Okay? It's, it's really, do you want to be happy? I mean, do you want to be happy? Do you? That's the question here. Or do you want to live in this, this spot of trying to avoid the truth? You know, it's time to release the past. There was no firm commitment. It's time for you to wake up. This was a karmic situation. We have karma many, many times here. Karma, karma, karma. It's over. It's over. It's time to shed the past. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person. Release the past. Release that commitment that never was. Because you deserve so much more. And don't you think it's time for you to receive? It is. It's time. It's a time of wish fulfillment. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of healing. It's a time of hope. Not despair. It's time for you to step over the finish line. It really is. It's time for you to complete this cycle with the devil that you were involved with. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply right now. Love yourself, your family, your friends, anybody. Open yourself up to loving unconditionally. 
and realizing that you receive, you deserve, wherever deserving is, you deserve unconditional love. You deserve unconditional love. It's time for you to stop avoiding, avoiding the truth because eventually you won't be able to avoid it any longer. Okay? God is in control. You can't change God's plan. Give your cares, your worries, your wishes to God. And trust that he will answer you appropriately. If he hasn't brought... And this is a love reading. Your partner into your life the one that you're wanting romance with because I see that you're wanting romance with a specific person if this person is not in your life there's a reason for it trust it go with it go with whatever happens let go and let God And that's what I have, Libra.